Okay, welcome back to DVD2. I'm Vince Danzioni and you're watching Making Money from Financial Spread Trading. Fixed odds have been around a few years now, a little bit more based on the options market, but there's different things we can do with the fixed odds. So let me show you through the presentation, then we'll go live onto the web and we'll actually look at the better market side. So fixed bets or digital options. Far simpler way to trade than normal options. It's a good way to back short term moves. You can also uh, use it if you're following seasonality studies. Um, say for instance, your study shows that the 1st of June is a good day to be long. Um, you could do a fixed odds bets. Um, it's a fairly easy system to use once you've just basically you know, done your first few bets or you've got used to it. You can set up a virtual account. So everything you need to know about fixed odds is at betonmarkets.net. They've got some little interactive videos um, and they've got some guides there. Seasonality. Um, if I was bullish basically November, December, uh, which was a good time for my fixed odds account, what I can do, I can say with better markets, I think this is going to happen in so many days and I want to make £5,000. They will then quote me a price, um, you know, a percentage of that actually happening. So that's why it's called a fixed odds. We can also train ranges using support and resistance. So let me show you um, an idea. Most of our money with spread betting, as I said, we tend to make it through um, actual trading through trends. Now, yes, we can sort of shorter term spread bet as well, but what we can do with a fixed odds bet is if we see the market like the DAX, for instance, is ranging between 4,000 and 4,100, what we can say with bet on markets is, I think I want to barrier a range which is called a range, basically between, let's say, 4,150 and 3,950, just to allow a little bit more. I think the DAX is going to stay in this range. So what we're betting on is that nothing's going to happen, which is quite an unusual or different uh, way to make markets. So as long as it carries on in this range, we would make money. If it breaks out or breaks below, we would lose money. Same again here when we saw, basically, the pound against the yen, Pretty much staying in a range. Bull bear bet is where we think a market is going to expire at. So let's say the FTSE 100. I think the FTSE 100 is going to be lower than 6,500 in, well, we can go all the way here up to 180 days. Now, the nice thing about this is you're buying time or you have time on your side. So Let's say you buy this, and it is really an option. As long as the FTSE 100 is less than 6,500 at this date, we will get paid out. And right now it's going to pay us 127% return. If during the period it goes up, it goes down, it doesn't matter. All that matters is where we are at this date. Now, I've used quite a far date here, but of course we can just use a much closer date as well. And as you saw earlier, if for any reason it doesn't want to make you a price on a certain parameter, then it will let you know. For instance, right now, um, the Dow Jones hasn't opened yet. And just quickly, when I say Dow Jones and you says, well, it says Wall Street, it's the same thing. The reason why sometimes on bookmakers you'll see uh, Wall Street index or German index is there's a copyright issue on Dow Jones. Um, so, but it's the same index. Now, if I try to get a, a price on this, it'll say, sorry, the market's closed. The market has to be open for it to actually price you the bet. Normally, it also asks the market to be open at least 15 minutes. With currencies, we've got the whole day. Now, we can do shorter term. We can do intraday. We can go down to between hours. Um, but on the whole, I like to go you know, slightly longer term. And again, it's just exactly the same. Let's have a look at a barrier range. So I wish to win again 5,000. And again, so we can change that to anything we want, we can change it to 2,000. Here are the currencies that they offer. So let's say that the pound against the dollar is going to stay in a range between $2 and 1 cent. Actually, we can do the low range first. So we do the low first. We say it's not going to go below 197. And it's not going to go up between 201. That particular bet is going to return us 
And remember, you know, when people say, oh, only 25%, this is over seven days, it's not over a year. Now, what you can do with fixed odds bets is compound, obviously. So if you make 25% in the next seven days, you've now got that profit to roll forward. So there we have the actual chart. And what I've done there is you can see this is where the market is right now. And these are my levels, 201 and 197. Okay, so as long as it stays, trades between there, stays in the range, doesn't touch that or touch that one, will be paid out in the next seven days. Now, of course, we can change those parameters. We can tweak those prices, um, and that will obviously affect the odds, and it will affect the, uh, you know, if we make the, the barrier shorter, okay, you'll see the odds are going to go up. This bet now pays 80%. And you say, well, Vince, why don't you take that one? Well, the reason why the odds have gone up, so your risk has gone up because it's more likely that the market will hit that. Now, at the same time, you say, well, why don't we just do really far away barriers? Why don't we just put 195 to 202? Well, chances are it won't quote you, but if it does quote you, yeah, in this case, you see, it's not quoting you because it's too, it's too much of a safe bet. This shouldn't be as quite a safe bet. Now, this one will turn you 8%. And the reason being is, look, I've put my top barrier up here, I've put my lower barrier down here, and that's where the market is now. Now, there are people that go for these safe bets. Um, of course, the problem is here, if a safe bet goes wrong, you're out of pocket quite heavily. So, with fixed odds, it's somewhere between matching a reasonable return and taking a reasonable amount of risk. But the nice thing about fixed odds is you can open a virtual account, or you can trade very, very small to start with, what I find sometimes people with virtual accounts, they don't always take it seriously. So it's sometimes better maybe just to put a couple of hundred quid into the account, trade 10 pound bets, at least they're real bets. Um, and you know, you can practice and try some different strategies. Now what sometimes some people do, they might have a spread bet running and they also might have um, a fixed odds bet running as well. So we can look at combinations doing things together. So I might have believed that the long term trend on the Dow is quite bullish and I'm long that market. But over the next 10 days or so, it could look a little bit, you know, look a bit weaker Then I might look to do a fixed odds bet at the same time um, as well. And it is obviously still possible to make money on both those bets. There's got various facilities in here, there's charting. Um, and some of the charts in here are not bad, especially for the commodities and cur uh, currencies. Um, so this can uh, give you some extra information as well. And again, it's all it's all free data that's available. So that's fixed odds betting. As I say, have a look at it, give it a try. Um, you can test it with a virtual account or um, a separate.